Days later, and thousands of miles away, the impact of the mass shooting at two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, that killed 50 and left another 50 injured, is being felt on campus. The alleged shooter, Breton Harrison Tarrant, has been charged with murder. Prior to the attack, Tarrant sent a lengthy 87-page anti-immigration manifesto via email to the New Zealand Prime Minister's office, but officials didn't have enough time to act on it. Freshman Zayn Romani was in Saudi Arabia for a religious Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca at the time of the shooting. This was such a big event because there have been mass shootings before, yes, but this was kind of the biggest thing for all of us Muslims that it made us realize just how serious it is. And it was really heartwarming to see how many actual like people who aren't even Muslims were supporting all the Muslim families where families died. And it was just an absolutely amazing thing to see. I wasn't there at the time. I was at a religious pilgrimage, but during that time, while I'm watching these news stories and stuff, I see all these people who aren't even Muslims holding signs, like shaking hands with people, going in there, helping out. And it's just amazing to see. Hello, Muslim junior Shweb Javani. The tragedy of the shooting will hopefully spark a great sense of community. Uh, I think the New Zealand shooting was a pretty bad terrorist attack. Um, I feel like it was very evident that there was some white supremacy going on, and it kind of affected the Islamic religion everywhere and not just in the area that was affected. Uh, to me and my community at the mosque this weekend we actually had a gathering and there were actually a lot of white families that came to support us and tell us that they were sorry for our losses and everything. So it was actually a very good bonding moment for within our community. Uh, I mean I think the stereotypical like reasoning for people is still going back to 9-11 obviously. Um, but I think that we are a peaceful and humble community that is, has the same values and uh, ethics as everyone else does and that we shouldn't be treated differently. There should be like more community gathering between uh, interfaiths and interfaiths to kind of allow a conjoining process between the two and eliminate the stress in between multiple religions. New Zealand officials have spoken out against the violence and are in the process of forming new gun regulation laws. While New Zealanders are rallying together to support Muslim families and are hosting vigils in remembrance, some students, such as senior Wade Glover, try to make a difference in his own way. Any attack on a group of people or a person based on their religion, something that they believe in, something that they can't control, some aspect of themselves is heinous. And what happened in New Zealand is just another example of bigotry turned to violence. Um, in the days after 9-11, a Muslim woman walked into my church and handed my pastor flowers and said, we are not all evil. And every year, maybe every other year, my pastor repeats this and he says that this story had an impact because this woman felt compelled to come in and share that her faith was not responsible for these actions. I remember this story Friday morning when I was hearing about the event in New Zealand and I just felt compelled to do the same thing. I got, I got flowers and I drove to the mosque in Plano, it's the Islamic Association of Collin County, and I walked in and handed the flowers to the president of the mosque and just said I'm sorry. Even though it didn't physically affect um, Muslims in Plano, Frisco, our community, um, it, it definitely has kind of a mental and emotional toll. I mean, people that share their beliefs and people um, who believe in the same God they do were being targeted for those beliefs. And that's, that's just completely unacceptable. And um, I remember, you know, it, it, it has had a huge impact on my pastor that someone went out of their way to drop off flowers after a tragedy and say, you know, I'm sorry. And I hope it had just as great of an impact and I hope um, my actions contributed to some kind of healing. Reporting for WTV, I'm Minuki Matus.